this is a big issue in particular for those industrial sources. I think in more than one instance, the required controls may be in short supply. There's not a huge market of vendors who are able to design, produce, and, and install those controls. And so there's sort of limited resources that have to be spread around fairly large industries. And that was something that EPA had every opportunity to re- react to from comments that were filed on the proposal. We got some of those compliance flexibilities that Taylor was talking about earlier, you know, the opportunity to get case-by-case emission limits if it looks like it would be a financial hardship for you to get all the way into compliance. Also, some extensions that are available under the rule. But one of the things that really underpins the opportunity to take advantage of those case-by-case and, and extensions is that you have to be able to show that you took every step possible to meet the requirements of the rule as dictated by the rule. To get controls installed by the right time limit, to meet the emission limits by the deadline, you have to take every step you possibly can. 